In this example, we're going to quickly generate a propeller with PropCAD and export the file to CAD using Fusion 360. So first, I'm going to start a new project. We'll input uh, our diameter and our pitch. We'll put some rake into the propeller and we'll also select a typical hub diameter. We're going to use the builder here to build a standard B-series propeller. We select B-series from the preset, which pre-fills the options to generate a B-series propeller. I'm going to narrow down the blade area. Hit OK. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a section here to connect the propeller blade to the hub. So what I do is I edit the R over R table, and I insert a section below. Uh, let's put it at 15%. It's going to spline the data into the table. I rebuild the blade. OK. Now we're ready to export the file as an IGES file. Wrong dialog. File, export, put it on the desktop here. We'll select all the surfaces that we want to export and hit OK. Now we're going to switch to Fusion. Using Fusion, I'm going to do File, Open. I'm going to do Open from my computer. And I'm going to select the file I just exported from the desktop, example prop.igis. And here's the propeller. And it will come in uh, as unstitched bodies. So we see all these bodies here. There's a couple steps to join this into a solid model. Uh, the first thing we want to do is basically select everything. And we want to go to surface, stitch. Uh, we can increase our tolerance here. You'll see it usually defaults with a small tolerance. What you want to do is increase that tolerance so that all the edges turn green and that it stitches them into a new shape. What you'll see is you have now five individual bodies. And what we want to do is go to solid and we want to uh, combine these bodies. We select the combine uh, and we just basically select all of our bodies here. We hit OK, and now we have a final uh, single solid body of the propeller. And we're ready to uh, do, of our, do any of our other operations within Fusion. All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we look forward to showing you more tips and tricks with PropCat.